<gasps> Hello, welcome. I'm currently trying to figure out why my art pattern. Art pattern. Why it doesn't want to draw? It worked before, but it doesn't work anymore. So I need to figure out why it stopped working. Hmm. Like, the hell? Do I have to reset it? If you hear sound in the background, it's my uh, washing machine. I mean, I can press stuff, but apparently I can't draw. Hmm. And it all looks correct here so why won't you work hmm this is interesting I'm not gonna do probably do not save let's open it up again Maybe you just have some random error. Okay, it looks correct. There we go. That that was a weird error. Really weird error. But yeah, uh yeah, doing something weird outside at the moment. Uh, hopefully not too bad. So yeah, welcome. Today, I'll draw whatever I want. I don't know, actually. How many suggestions? And time to fix that and put on some music because we need music. Oh, you know that. oh shit, that's not what we wanted. That was scary. Mm, let's see if the Spotify wants to pick up. Apparently not. Interesting. Is it curse today? Am I having a curse day? Hmm. There we go. It found it. Hell yeah, it works now. Alright, it's time to... Do this. Okay, let's see. <laughs> okay. Holy shit, is my machine going to explode or something? I don't think my mic will pick it up. I really hope not. But you never know. Never know these days. Mm. 
Okay, so while I uh, just set up the last stuff, which means I literally need to do something else. Mm -hmm. Glad no one can see that. Huh. I just... Did something really stupid. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. I hate that my desktop is too little because my keyboard is on the other side of the watchpad. Oh shit, sorry. <sighs> there you go. It's so goddamn hot today. Yeah. All right, clean. Uh, let's sketch do a warm up. Mm. All right, what should I warm up with? Yesterday I started with a horse. What should I start with today? Hmm. Let's start with. I was trying to figure out a uh, old character, one of my old characters, to see if that would be fun to draw. I mean, it would be fun to draw it. It's just that no one will understand him. He's weird. He's a weird goddamn mad animal. So actually, let's just sketch him. He hasn't changed design in the last couple of years. Yes, yes, got more creepier. But he's still. I don't think he got a name. Did I ever give him a name? I think I just called him my monster. I even made like a whole full body design with him. I said it to schools. Which is kind of weird, because he makes no sense when you look at him. And the fact that he has the worst underbite. Oh, look. He has no eyes. He has no real idea on how to function. But I have a theory that he is using echolocation. Which would make sense with his mouth and stuff. Why... Why does he look like he's smiling? Hmm. Nope. Let's uh, make him a bit more defined so you guys can see him. Is my under the dancing? Not sure. Hmm. Da -da -da -da. And he has two horns. Let's see if I can actually remember how he looks like. He would probably look a bit different than he did when he was younger, but I mean, my style has changed a little bit, and yeah. I've been drawing more, like, monsters. Ta-da! Uh, 
How did... How... Hmm. That wasn't the point. Uh, don't tell me it's done now. I've literally been waiting two hours. Ugh. Well, it can survive 30 minutes, right? I mean, normally you should take it out and hang it up right away. But... Hmm. I should probably do that. Well, as soon as I hear the thing pop, I will run and fix it. Which means I need to hang everything up. Oh, God. What time am I... I'm not even sure what I put in my laundry. That's not good. Hmm. Well, <laughs> I put something there at least. Uh, I think it's clothes at least. It's not towels, I think. Because that's what I'm going to do tomorrow. No, it's not done yet. It's still working. Right. So, this is my monster. I have no idea what his name was. And, yeah. I, I, I don't even know why he exists. Why is he existing? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Well, that sucks, actually. Hmm. So let's do something else then. Hmm, it's so goddamn hot today. It's been hot. It's supposed to be... Autumn, and it's still so hot. Hi. Makes no sense. Alright. Let's ignore my monster. Let's make something else. Mm, I have a character named Polly. But I don't want to draw him because he's mostly naked and that's no fun to draw. Literally a character I made when I was like 16. Ooh. Mm -hmm. <gasps> I know what I could draw. I could draw my... Um, when I was a kid. In kindergarten, I always made these guys. They had like a big, big nose. And two big eyes. Like this. And... They looked like this. Actually, no, no, wait. I need to make him smaller. Mm. Oh my god. This desk is not doing great. <laughs> Thing is, I never knew if these were feet or hands. But he existed. And let's see. <laughs> I just realized should probably. What am I doing? I don't know. Mm, yep. It looked like something like this. My characters. And I drew them everywhere. Oh, it was hands. Now I remember. It was fingers. That was like looking over. And I drew them everywhere. For... Um... My friend, 
for classmates. Teachers didn't like it, but who cares? I was young and dumb. Which is kind of funny because now these days they sell like gnomes looking like this everywhere. And I'm like, dude, why? And we have another character I made when I was younger is... Uh, I think his name was Sige. Which is kind of funny because I got a cat some years later named that. But he looked like this. No wait, his name wasn't Sige. That was another character. This is Marsh. Short for marshmallows. My dad loved this character. That's like this that that's the character that defines everything he feels. Tired, bored, hedgehog. And fun fact, I had like literally no idea what Sonic was at that time. Because Sonic games didn't exist in my household. The only reason why we knew ex Sonic existed was because McDonald's had a deal with toys. Which, I mean, yeah, we didn't really understand it. We did some weird stuff. We had wild imaginations as kids. We just knew there was something with the rings and we didn't know what. And we had no idea what the characters was named. We didn't I think we only knew Sonic's name. And we called Tails Fox. But yeah. So Marsh was my roleplay character's pet. Who literally followed her around everywhere. He was adorable. He never spoke or anything. He was just hanging out. And looked always pissed. Or something like. like judging you slowly. Which is kind of funny. Because my. Minecraft's character. Is. Uh, her skin is based on that old roleplay character. Sigya, he was a worm. He was a worm. Sigya the worm. Which is kind of funny because I hate worms. Not earthworms, uh, they are okay, but I, I'm not a big fan of other worms, maggots. But Sigge, he, I think he was supposed to be a larva, but we called him worm because it was more fun. He was adorable. Surprisingly, he didn't get eaten by Marsh. They hang out with friends, but one day my Sigge turned into a egg. Which was confusing as hell. Like, it was, I thought it was a cocoa first. And then we realized, no, wait, that's more like an egg these days. Which is kind of similar. The thing is, the more we roleplayed, me and uh, my friend, the more he evolved. So he was like, worm, like, four months in the roleplay. And in roleplay it was like, Two years or something, and then he was an egg for like um, mm, I think he was egg for like two months, and then when that was done, he hatched, and it was kind of like the last sessions we had as all the characters. And he hatched into a big dragon. Well, he wasn't that big. He was like big as a dog. But it was very confusing. We were like, how the hell did that happen? And why did it happen? So we had Siggy the Worm turning into a kind of dragon. It was very weird. But he was very cute and very useless. 
He he didn't do anything. He didn't even help with fights. And this is my character's two of her pets. I think she had I'm trying to remember what my friend had. She had um I think she had a bunny. Just a bunny, if I remember correctly. And she may have had something else, but I can't remember. But it was a cute bunny, and it was based on her real bunny. It's kind of weird. Why didn't I base any of my animals on my cats? I, I went with a hedgehog and a worm. I can't even remember what her bunny was called. Hmm. I just know that my character was the captain of the pirate ship that uh, that went through. We were like in One Piece, Pirates of Caribbean area, so our roleplay was based around that. And we had so much fun. So yeah, this was even before Minecraft existed, so I made, when Minecraft came out, I had, we didn't play together, but I wanted to honor like all those years that we role played. I don't know, we role played maybe two years or something, in a way, so I decided to make my character based on that character I had when I was younger. So she was a pirate's captain. And her, my friend, she was the navigator. And she was so nice. Don't have any contact with her anymore. Which is kind of sad. But yeah, I mean... Friendship ends sometimes. I think I still have her on Facebook though. She'll check that out. Say, hi, do you remember what your bunny was called? Wait, that's rude. She... Okay. I'm gonna be honest. Because of the parts of Caribbean, we had huge crushes on characters from there. And... She went with Jack Sparrow. And for some reasons, I was like, nah, I prefer Will Turner. So I was kind of obsessed with that, and she was obsessed with him, Jack Sparrow. So we based our adventures around that, and One Piece, and something else. But it was a whole mess with all the characters we made. <laughs> Wait. I still have no idea how the worm. I'm still like trying to figure out why, where did the worm come from. But yeah, kind of miss her. She was awesome. She, we met two or three times. First time we met, we didn't talk to each other. We were so so shy. I mean, it was an age difference between us, but like five years or something which is kind of hilarious but we did a good role play we had fun and fun fact my dad dumped me in that place and he was like you will survive and i'm like oh, anxious well she came with her parents and her brother and we i literally just gave her a painting and then i left I was so anxious. Fun fact, that was the first time I even saw John, uh, Junji Ito drawings. And I was obsessed. I was like, what the hell is that? So, my character's name 
was Lady Osha or Captain. Which is fun because Osha was literally just a nickname I had from age 12 or something. Uh, but she she couldn't have that name when she was uh, disguised because we had to go break into a ball or something. So we had to dress up and everything. It was adorable. It's just that we decided to disguise ourselves and our names, which means that Osha became Oce Oceania. And because of the crushes we had, uh, my character was Oceania Returner. That was hilarious at the time. And her character was named Tuffy. Uh, and I think we named, we named her during that moment to Lady T Tuffy Lina. Uh, Parrot, that was the name. Yes, imagine. Yeah, it it was it was very fun. It was weird, very weird. I I I miss. I wish I still had all those documents we had. But no, that's gone since many many years ago. But holy shit. It was sad. It is it's kinda sad how much has changed. But I mean I think she's doing well. I think she's married and everything. Actually I don't know. Hmm. Well whatever she is doing now these days, I hope the best for her. Because during that time, she was one of my best friends. And we were like sisters. Well, technically. She was uh, more... Uh, yeah, she was like a sister to me. I mean, I already had two sisters, but... For me, it was like just like another little sister to take care of, and I'm guessing she looked up to me because I mean, there's a reason we could have easily been groomed. I mean, I I I did get groomed, groomed as a young kid, but I'm and thankfully too stupid for it. Well, well, mm. yeah, I I was quite stupid. But I was stupid enough, and I fell, but at the same time, I never met up with them. Even if I had, there was one or two times tried to meet up with me, but I had such an anxious attack that I called another friend who helped me. And the thing is, how she helped me, she was literally just sitting in another, yeah, in the other side of Sweden. And she, we talked on the phone and I was hiding and I was like, I have no idea who I'm meeting up with. But something I've learned was never meet in a lone place. We met in a public place. The guy couldn't find me uh, because I was really good at hiding. And especially at the library, where we were supposed to meet up. So that's where I hang out. But yeah. So my roleplay... Which is kind of funny, my roleplay didn't even start with Messenger. It started with a Swedish website called Hogwarts, based on... Harry Potter that got shut down because of copyright 
It's just kind of sad. But, I mean... It was fun. I met some of my friends through that website too. Role-playing. Plus horses. Everyone went with wizards. We went with wild horses. Mm. Mito, what are you doing? I know she had like a bandana like this. <laughs> yeah, it's it was a weird time, the beginning of twenty. The millennium. Holy shit. Uh, let's see. What are you doing? What are you doing? I just realized. We... No matter what happened, I made so many good friends through roleplay. If it's been text roleplay or Skype scrolling, holy shit. Or forum based. Even if I just roleplayed mostly in Swedish, which is kind of weird now. I think actually we went with the Swedish, like we, we trained our English at the same time as we roleplayed as pirates. Which in a good, like, in a way, that's actually very good of us. Because I hated English when I was younger. I had really bad teachers. I literally... I literally couldn't handle English when I was younger. I Most of what I know now, or how I speak, is mostly what I've learned from the internet. Which is kind of weird, judging by the fact that Sweden is one of those countries that actually has to learn English pretty early. Mm. But yeah. Can't even remember. We had a name for the ship even. I can't draw ships, but uh, I mean, I can sketch one. The hell? How about the... I think it was just called something really weird. Did you even have a name? And it wasn't a big ship either. It was literally just for a small crew. But yeah, the old pirates of Sweden. I don't think we had flag, flag even. Huh. Do we have anything good? Hmm. Maybe not. But at least I had Marsh. Just know how he was very easy to draw. <laughs> so Marsh, and we had a bunny. What the hell was his name? It was so adorable. It's literally something really simple, normal, normal bunny name for Swedish people to name their bunnies. Probably. No, oh, someone is in the hall, oh, right? I 
I just knew it was a male. Why did we have all male crew? Animal pets. I think they had a parrot for a while too. I still don't know where Siki came from. But he was adorable. He was hiding. On my clothes, for some reasons. Pretty weird, actually. Hmm. So yeah, that's uh, the whole story. I can't even remember the last session we had. Hmm. But yeah, that was literally I spent three hours every night doing. But OSHA organized from the horse roleplay. And OSHA was a horse that from the beginning was a Arabian horse. So her name was OSHA Ox, I think it was. No, Ocean Ox. That's that was the name. But a friend of mine thought it was a weird name. Well, it was too long. Don't know how. So she started calling me Osha. And I was like, okay. And that literally stuck with me. So she went from being a very cute, shy Arabian horse. That's literally looked... Oh, she was friendly. Uh, she tried to make friends. She got captured several times, but most of the owners, the people who was playing humans, literally stopped playing after a while. So she she got yeah. She adopted a a foal. Can't remember the foal's name, but she adopted a small foal. Which was another character for me. Very small fall, can't remember. The thing is, she went from being Ocean Ox to turn into a sea creature. She was still a horse, but she was based on the Kelpie or based on the Swedish version of. Kelpie, which is Becca Heston. Which means that she was very depressed. Her, her stallion or mate dumped her. It was very weird. It was, it, was, it was a weird time. But she literally went out to stand in the moss looking emo. She was still a grey horse. But she went and she swam in lakes. And every time someone tried to catch her, she bite them with her fangs. Because she had fangs. She was really emo. Not really, but she she, she was the definition of me being depressed during a hard time in school. So yeah, so she went from Ocean Ox to becoming Osha, and that's how my nickname started. Mm, do you have any more characters? Mm, I have... I can't remember what more characters do I have. Old RB characters. I had um I was part of uh different stable forums too. 
but it's literally the same construct with horses except we are humans and the person who owns the website was the stable owner and yeah i got to meet so many good friends there and no contact i had contact with one person from that but we don't talk we just literally just acknowledge each other exist on uh, LinkedIn. That's where I have her. Kind of interesting, actually. Hmm. But yeah. What more characters do have I done? I can actually check my deviant. Uh, let's see. Do I have... What more characters have I made during my years? Mm. I made... I mean, Inkat it's so old. I found a picture of an old, old image of Inkat. And Inkat was literally 2012. And I was like, holy shit. Okay, what old characters did I have? I had... Oh yeah, I had Polly and... What the hell was his name? I had Fish. don't know why his name was Fish. It was actually Fisk, not Fish. Uh, which is literally the same thing. Oh, yeah, I was even a... Uh... I had a... Uh... What the hell was she called? I had their juice? I don't remember, but I made some deers. I drew human deer. I draw furry. God damn it. I even had a Transformer OC. And I, oh yeah, I had lots of Mighty Ponies and lots of Lions OCs. Trying to remember what the... Uh... Oh god. I even had horses. That was not related to any roleplay, it was just created. I even used to have a comic. Holy shit, I had so much history. I had a comic called Toasted Ward. Uh... Where it was literally me being a psychiatrist in a house that was connected to uh, a convention. So there was a convention every weekend, cosplays and stuff. Uh, because I like to go to conventions. And my, my staff and Patients was my friends. It was classmates and it was uh, people I learned and I got to know through comments. And it was hilarious. It was fun to draw. Toasted Ward. I literally, my main problem with Toasted Ward was that uh, I didn't know who was my patients and who was cosplayers and convention goers <laughs> because for some reasons one of the doors was linked to each other so sometimes some people went the wrong way and yeah came into my business 
so yeah i think even my character like my oc even got trapped one day in as a patient but yeah she was dr osha she let's see if i can pull up the picture I can't. Mm. Okay, let's see if I can do this. Save. I wonder where the, if I have any images left. Should probably have somewhere saved. Hmm. See if I can find it. Where is Toasted Ward? Where is it? I know I have it on Facebook somewhere. Um, there you go. This is Toasted Ward. One of the first comics I literally made. Oh. So yeah. My English wasn't that very good, but that was my own comic. It even had a website. Let's just see if I can find other. We had such a weird humor. Oh yeah, and I drew all of them, or most of them, in paint. Hmm. I mean, I found Toasted Ward. But, yeah. Hmm. Weird. That's actually sad that I don't have any of those pictures left. Hmm. Mm -hmm. It's weird. Why can't I find any of my old Toasted War comics? It makes me a bit sad. Hmm. Well, doesn't matter. I have one image at least. Uh, what the hell is it? There. Sad, sad. But what can you do when you don't even have it saved on the computer anymore?
and the computer in question everything was on rest in peace rest in peace computer i probably have it saved somewhere in a hard drive or a hard drive and it's probably one of those i no wait i think you have it on an old hard driver hard drive hard drive hard drive and it's it's supposed to be here somewhere i'm gonna have to check that later if i remember Yes, weird. Sad thing with my Toasted Ward comic is, except for me being, I stopped doing on it, stopped working on it because I had no fantasy after like six pages or something, is that most of my stuff in that comic I don't have contact with anymore. Well, at least my secretary, she is gone. She's alive. It's just that um, I I have no idea what went on with her. But let's just say that sometimes you have to say bye to people who are toxic in your life. And I'm not sure if I'm the toxic person or if she was. I I just know that we had a lot of conflicts in them. And. I think it was some jealousy involved too, because I had an amazing job at that time. And she told, literally told me that she would make a much better work at it. And I was like, excuse me? What? Why do you say that? And I was like, no, I don't think so, because you have no idea how it works. And she's like, yes, I do. So yeah, we kind of lost contact after that fight. Uh, because she compared it to uh, working in a store when it was an uh, online company. And the customer service was completely different. And the system was homemade by the owner of the company so yeah it was a bit advanced um yeah it worked out in the end for me but yeah it's kind of sad to that jealousy just killed friendship i don't understand why but yeah It's just sad because she used to be my cosplay friend, too. But at the same time, the more distance grew between me and her, the more I saw that, holy shit, she wasn't good for me. And I don't think I was good for her either. I was insecure little shit. I mean, I lost all trust in humans when I was 15, 16, something. Because I became emo. As a friend of mine decided that we are not supposed to be friends anymore. We are not friends. We are... Completely, she hated me and started to torture me for years. Uh, it went so bad, police got involved several times, school got involved. Uh, and for some reasons, I think I came out pretty good. Mm. So 
So the question is, should I start more fusion with animals now? Yeah. But... Question is, what animals should I combine? Hmm. Uh -huh. Is it today? Hmm. I'm gonna do this uh, because I want to draw some animals. So we are gonna do a uh, arch. No, uh, draw. A, draw animal. Uh, animals to draw, spin the wheel. All right, we are gonna combine two animals. I mean, uh, 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 I would like you to have more. I, I found one wheel, but it's like, eh, you have five animals to choose between. Hmm. <laughs> See animals and nature. Uh, okay, let's take this wheel. Oh my god, that's a lot. All right, let's try that. Uh, the first animal we're combining is a raven. Huh, a bird. So a raven kind of looks like something like this. I love ravens actually, they are adorable. Nope, that's not how they look like. A uh, raven uh, looks like they have a beak that is kind of big, but that's something not. I couldn't just be a magpie. But this, this is a close to a raven that I need to know. Alright, and then we spin again. And this time it's a mouse. So a mouse with a raven. I love, love that. Uh... <laughs> oh, what happened here? What happened here? I mean, the mouse looks more like this. There we go. Did I just give it five legs? No. Depends on what kind of mouse, actually. Hmm. So now I need to combine a raven with a mouse. Hmm. Question is, do I want to make a small animal? Or a big animal. Hmm. 
Do I want to make it creepy or cute? Mm. I mean, let's sketch up a shape first. So we have a mouse body is looking something like this. Kinda, not really, but Mm, what the hell happened there? Yeah. Yep, nope, nope, nope. Remove the ears. Back, 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 back. There we go. It's more like this. There we go. So we have this. Mm. See if I can remember how tail works. Not tail, uh, pause. So we have a mouse. And combined with a raven. It's built more like this. Hmm. So if I do this shape, mm. uh, what did I think here? I don't know. That's weird, but we're gonna keep it like this. Why do I have to draw so much birds these days? Let's make it creepy. Which means... Let's make it like this and hmm. Mm. Trying to figure out something. The question is, do we want what kind of... Let's keep mouse legs still. The thing is, I could just make it easy and give him wings. But that would make sense. So, instead of giving him wings, we're gonna keep the small arms, but we're gonna give him feathers. And the tail... will be... Mm. What kind of tail is too small, so? Mm. Uh, let's see. I'm just gonna do this. Oh. And we are gonna change the size. See if I can do that without having to press 
Here we go. There. This is going to be creepy as hell. There we go. Okay. Um, select, deselect. There we go. And back to drawing. So we have the tail. And they have a bit. Hi! Welcome! Trying to remember how mouse's tails looks like. Mm. How are you doing today? Oh god. You missed my whole rant before. I was talking about my old, old RP characters from when I was little. And teenager. That's why there are so many layers here. Okay, let's see. Da -da. That's not what the nose was supposed to look like. Supposed to look like something like this. Because you wanted to still have a bit of a skin feeling. It looks ugly as hell. But what can I demand of a hybrid? Tend to draw some paws. Tend to do and feathers. See. Uh, let's see here. Isn't it cute? I think it's pretty cute for being a mouse raven.
No, don't like that tail. There we go. Nope. Yeah, I'm gonna remove that, redraw it. Uh, may have to change music. Okay, let's see. All right, time to change the uh, playlist. I'm getting bored of musicals. So let's do uh, songs that gives me a feeling. Probably will not color this one. I'll be just give some simple colors, basic, basic thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is he cute? Yes, he is. So cute. <laughs> Hiccups again. Mm, it's kind of in time. Someone is thinking about me. <laughs> Probably not, but yeah. No, nah, who cares? Six. Mm. 
Let's give some feathers here too. Because if I remember correctly, mouse tails are... You do? I mean, it's supposed to be a raven-mouse hybrid fusion. I, th I think it's very adorable. <laughs> so I'm just gonna do this. We are gonna take this and... <laughs> just want to give him some colors Yeah. And time to remove. Mm -hmm. Shit. Nope. Okay, I don't like this brush. Let's do this. Much better. Not really what I wanted, but it gives a bit more of what I was looking for. Oh shit. Mm, I have to do this instead. And let's add this. Uh, why won't it work? Hmm. Not what I wanted. Let's do this. Mm 
Sim. Okay, don't worry about the colors. This is literally just me giving it some depth, kind of. So I, I have no idea what the true colors are, but uh, it's something. But yeah. What color does mouse has in their eyes? Like brown? Dark, dark brown? Or is it black? Hmm. Probably dark, dark, dark brown. Oh shit, that was a bit too over. There we go, and let's do this. And this is how a crow, no, raven mouse would look like. Let's uh, change color, background color. There we go, looks a bit better do this and add a bit more shadow So, what's the Latin name for crow? No, raven. Raven Latin. It's Corvus Corax. Okay. I could have known that actually. God damn it. Uh, and what's house? House. <laughs> okay. Apparently, it's a sweet who named it. Moose. Moose musculus. So it's. If I combine them. Hmm. 
I will literally name him. Mm, let's see. That's not the one. Okay, chorus. Mus. Corax, maybe. Or. Corvus, Corvus, uh, Musculus, at least it's, I know it's, uh, Corvus, Corvus, uh, Uh, let's see, what the hell is my mouse? There it is. Corvus Corax. Hmm. Loose. So, yeah. That's how it looks like if I had to design a combined animal. Okay. I don't have my uh, brush, my thing here, so I had to save it like this. Uh, yes, you save it. Like. Uh, let's make another one. Mm. Do you want to say animal or should I do a wheel again? Because that's what I did last time. Bear, alright. Bear, oh, wait. Bear combined with a bear looks kind of like this. Depends actually what kind of bear it is. Mm -hmm. Why do I make it have big ears? It, bear has very small ears. They have like this size here. So bear combined with Do you want me to do a spin? Alright, let's do a spin with on the wheel I have. Uh, it's should I spin again because I got red panda <laughs> and I, uh, they are very related, so it doesn't feel like something fun to draw. 
Because mm. it will literally just be like that movie red. Huge. Yeah. Okay, the next animal that turns up is... Deer. <laughs> nope. Third time is the charm, alright. Okay, that, that's gonna be interesting. I got sheep. So we have a bear combined with a sheep. Are we gonna make a very fluffy... What kind of sheep, actually? Hmm. Just peep, peep. Let's call it more burp or something. Oh, dude! I mean, a sheep's teeth—they are grass eaters. So, but imagine a bear. No, a, a sheep. But they have carnivore, the omnivore teeth. Actually, that would be interesting with a bear nose and eyes like sheep and the wool and small hair. All right, let's sketch it. Do we want it to... Oh, do we want it to be a huge sheep? There. I have to think here. Okay, then Wrong pen, wrong, wrong, wrong pen. Let's see. Okay. 
Okay, let's see here. The mouth is going to be difficult. But it's going to be worth it, I think. A beep. Beep, beep, beep. How the hell do sheep have the wear wool? It's been some years since I last saw sheep in real life. No, actually, it's just been a year. Just a year. Or is it two years, actually? Hmm. Okay, I need to shut up. Shut up, don't sing. Jesus, humming. God damn it. Let's do it. Go. It's gonna be wool. I may actually redraw this. Yeah. Uh, what more do sheep looks like? Like how does bear bear? Bears has like two canine, right? They are a bit omnivore. They eat berries. They eat meat. They eat fish. Sheep mostly eat grass. Hmm. There we go. <laughs> I just realized <laughs> I can give him a nice uh, wool here. Look at him, he looks beautiful. He's adorable. Uh, beep or beer chair. The hell do you name? Uh, yeah, I don't know what to name him. Hmm. I imagine he's not easy to share. Just have the feeling he will not be that easy. He's probably pr pretty aggressive too. But I think he will need to share because, or is it like a com combination with the bear growing wool before he go to bed? Or like go down to the like what's the English name? I can't remember. The thing they do every year winter something, I don't know. Okay, he's a door what the hell?
It's adorable. The hell have I done? I mean, this is something I would pet. Never mind, I would pet everything. Don't worry. I like that I have so completely different styles depending on if I'm drawing on my iPad or I'm drawing this or I'm drawing uh, for like normal traditional style. It's weird. Except this is kind of more like my traditional style. So, hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. I wonder what will this will it be able to eat grass? Oh, <gasps> maybe it's gonna be like a flamingo, you know, eating the things that make them pink, but it becomes green instead because of the grass. Hmm. Hmm. No. It's adorable. It's so adorable. Bear sheep. Are you gonna stream today, by the way? Because I was watching and watching 
yesterday and then I fell asleep. So yeah. I didn't fall asleep because you were boring, don't worry. I I was literally tired. I I kind of fell asleep at the desk. Being like it, it was so relaxing. Mm -hmm. I slept actually very well. Woke up. Like after 36 minutes or something and turned off my computer and I was like, oh, I just need to go to bed. And then I woke up at 4 a.m. It's adorable. Yes, I like it. It's gonna make a fast coloring again. Uh, let's go with brown this time. And fill in very early. Oh yeah, waking up that early. Yeah, I don't know why. Oh, it was weird waking up that early. I tried to fall asleep again, but uh, keep going at waking up. So it was very, very weird. I'm using this to make it more texture, kind of like. All right, time to do this. <laughs> It's adorable. Yes, I like it. I like the beer cheap. Mm 
Ottan det jag tänkte jag. Mer. Det är mer. Oh, so my little dog out. Good to know. Hi, welcome. Da, da, da. Are you still working with today? Yep, I did. Didn't you? Oh, I just checked, but I didn't check through the whole message. Hmm. Oh my god. Hmm. Yeah, not gonna look that much into it. I, I literally don't know if it's today or tomorrow. Sure, actually. Okay. Yeah, it's in the RP server. You know, the, the thing that you don't like. It does? Huh. That's more than I know. I think it's hinted to going out with a bang of... Don't die? But yeah, I don't know. I'm not part of that team. Actually, I'm not involved with that event, so I can't really say anything about it. Uh, I agree on that. It's very hot. Too hot. I'm literally dying at the moment. No, not really, but mm, kind of. I heard they are patching Baldur's Gate because the followers was too horny. That's weird. Which has made some girls very upset. Apparently. 
And yes, girls. Can't really remember. Oh my god, I just realized sheep has brown. More brown eyes. Uh... Okay, it's almost done sketch. Isn't he cute? Let's do this. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Oh. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. I have a big like ice pack in my uh, fridge that I have been used. Last year I used it a lot. This year I probably not use. I haven't used it at all. Almost not even to buy ice cream. That's how cold this summer has been. Not what I wanted. Mm -hmm. 
to what will this guy be named as a Latin name? Name for wait, Latin name. For, wait, I should know the bear one. What the hell? It's oh my god, I should know this. This is annoying. I have to go back. Yeah, Ursus Arctus. Mm, annoying. Ursus Arctos combined with sheep. Sheep, what could that be? Always, oh my god. Oh my god, I'm, I'm, I'm ashamed of myself. So much I study Latin once. Hmm. Okay. Oh shit. There we go. So Deep or shear. or no. Hmm.
Okay, that, that's done. See? Right. New animal. Hmm. Mm. All right, new animals. Uh, should I do a wheel again or any suggestions? Okay, I'm gonna do a spin on the wheel. Um, spin, spin, spin. We have... That's not the animal, that's a banana. And wolf, we already done once. Okay, we got Orca. That's the first animal. And the uh, Orca. Mm -hmm. Orca, they look. Something like this. No, wait. They are more related to... I don't know how orcas look. Mm, I have to Google this. I know how they look like. It's just that... I have to get the form in. The panda of the sea. Mm 
Så vi har orka. What will the orca be fused with? Hmm. A lion. Question is, do we want to go for lion, male or female? Uh, that's a tiger draw lion. So a lion with this. Kind of same shape as a bear, but more manly. No, I don't know. The question is, do you want a male or a female? Hmm. I notice I'm drawing the same legs for all animals. This is not good. So the question is, do we want the whale? Actually, hmm. I mean, it could literally do something like this. Go to this. Mm. What the hell? No, 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 no. Uh, that's not the photo I wanted to draw in my hand, so that sounds good. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's see. So 
some more of the screams outside. Scary. No. Uh, Nope, 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 nope. Mm 
<laughs> it's kind of cute. Should probably um, go and get my laundry. Mm. What do you think? Okay, let's see. Okay, why doesn't that work anymore? Interesting. Singing here tonight. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm. Oh, that explains it.
Oh shit. Why is it acting like that? Hmm. Sorry for being quiet. I literally are trying to stay awake. Don't know why. I've been drinking. Water. Don't worry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
Mm -hmm. Hmm, what kind of main color? Ta -da. Mm-hmm. <laughs> What do you think? Is he cute? Oh, yeah, I'm gonna have to end stream because I'm almost dying of the heat and my laundry is done, so I need to fix that. But yeah. It's a very old animal. Kinda of hard to combine them. Hmm. Da -da -da -da. 
Not what I plan to do. Ta -da! Let's see. Nope. Oh, shit. There you go. There we go. There we go. All right. I'm gonna end the stream here because I'm so tired and I have laundry to fix now. Oh shit, that's the wrong pen holder. Uh, but thanks for coming. I hope you guys enjoyed the art stream. I will probably do one more soon. Maybe tomorrow, not sure. But yeah, we will see. Uh, have a great evening. 